The couple leaving right now is Simone and Sasha. What? You could tell she was shocked, too. Mm -hmm. I'm still not over this. Simone Biles and Sasha Farber getting eliminated from Dancing with the Stars semifinals this week. That one hurt a little bit. A little bit. And after 24 seasons in the ballroom, host Tom Bergeron tells us he's become an expert at predicting the winner. Well, sort of. Definitely one of these three. I'll tell you something. Sometimes I know who's going home on, on a given week. For the finale, I don't. I, I tell them, don't tell me. I'll hear it in my ear, and then I'll tell you at home in almost the same instant. Tom out supporting Hollywood legend Carl Reiner for his HBO documentary, If You're Not in the Obit, Eat Breakfast. Why are so many people living such active lives into their 90s? In the film, Carl interviews his famous friends like Betty White, Mel Brooks, and Dick Van Dyke, who, by the way, gave Emily Blunt his Mary Poppins blessing. Well, I said, the girl on the train is Mary Poppins? <laughs> She's wonderful. She's really good. Big shoes to fill. No wonder that it's Mary that we love. The 91-year-old will also be making a cameo in the Disney sequel, Mary Poppins Returns. I do a song and dance number. It's called Trip the Light Fantastic. Looks pretty good. Jim Carrey showing support for the icon. Yup, that's Jim under that full beard. Meanwhile, another funny man, Paul Reiser, switching gears with his role in season two of Stranger Things. And Paul says he finally won some cool points with his son, Leon. Stranger Things is the first time ever uh, that my 16-year-old cared about a show I was involved in. He went, Dad, you're on that. That's so cool. What happened? I said, I can't tell you. I'm sworn to secrecy. He's going to see it when everybody else sees it.